Hello everyone, welcome to my show. I'm the Empath, we are back with Undertale. By the way, I did get to review what that said, it just said that, uh, room of your own, hope you like it. So, yeah. So now we're gonna do things that might not end so well, and we're gonna ask about going home. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Yeah, let's hold off on how asking about exiting the ruins. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. <laughs> what is it? Um, I'm gonna say nothing. Uh, what is it? Okay. Here it goes. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna say nothing. I wanna do one other thing first. I wanna see if I can get another piece of that pie by going to sleep. Cause obviously I can't go down to the creepy basement of creepiness. So let's go to our room. And let's go ahead and turn off that light. I wonder if I can access the that's the box full of kids' shoes. That thing that has me concerned. So let's sleep again. There's no pie! Why you no pie? I went to sleep. When I go to sleep, there should be pie. Wonder if I... I wonder if I eat the pie and then go to sleep if I have it. Whatever. Here it goes. I have to do something. Stay here. Oh... No. Bad feelings. Uh, checked everything there, unless it has new stuff. Okay, seems like the right size for Toriel. Yeah. Um, there's chairs. Can I click chairs? Chairs. I'd like to chair this plant with you. Ha ha. Ha ha. Um. What happens if I leave? Probably nothing if I went all the way back. Because there's nothing I can really do. Uh, my room. Nothing. Uh, Toriel's room. Nothing. Uh, was there a room over here? Room under renovations. Can I do anything with... Oh yeah, that was a, that was a mirror. Looks like I'm going to the creepy basement of creepiness. And I have very bad feelings. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. I'm scared. I'd put on the horror movie, the ho the horror lighting, but... I... Like, I, I don't... I don't even know what this game. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I knew. I knew it. I knew it was bad things. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, as gore, will kill you. Okay, so she is nice. She is looking out for us. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? I, wa I want to stay with her now. Let's just stay with her. Live happily ever after. I need happily ever after. Come on. Go to your room. Oh, why do I have to leave? Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. But, but, why do I have to do things? Because I don't have a choice. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. 
prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Uh-huh. Now I face Toriel. Toriel blocks the way. Okay. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. What? What? Toriel is acting aloof. Huh. Uh, check. Just curious. Attack. Oh. <laughs> Knows best for you. No. No. No, I say. Ah. Oh. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Talk. You tried to think of something to say again, but... No! Don't you hurt me! Toriel prepares a magical attack. Let's just talk it out. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Alright, I'm going to my safety corner. Because this corner seems to be safety. Yes! Safety corner is safe! Toriel prepares a magical attack. I'm gonna keep talking to her until it gets a. Th oh. Do I have to. I wonder what Mercy will do. I'll check that out next time. Safety corner! Can't get me in my safety corner! Can't get me in my safety corner! Mercy! Spare! I don't like this look. Ha! Oh, ha! Oh. Oh, safety corner. Safety corner is super safe all the time. Toriel looks through you. Um, um, um. Let's... Can I act anything else? What if I check her again? No, it's best for you. Alright. Gonna go to safety corner. Safety corner. Stay in my safety corner. Alright, just, you're not a good... I'm gonna spare you again. Oh, I got, I got two lines of ellipses. Toriel looks through you. Okay. I'm gonna do monster candy. I ate the monster candy. HP was maxed out. Ha. Ow. You suck. You suck. And my safety corner isn't an option here. Toriel looks through you. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm getting three lines. Ha ha! No! What in the world? Oh my god! Okay, um... Spider Donut heals 12, I think. Yeah, it does. Ow! How do I even... Okay, so I need to go to the right next time. Alright. So I'm going to spare. She's questioning me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Toriel takes a deep breath. Spare. What are you doing? Safety corner. Safety corner. Ow! Safety corner is supposed to be safe. From you all the time. How can safety corner not be safe? Attack or run away. Mm -hmm. Do I? Toriel looks through you. I kind of want to keep sparing her because I'm getting different responses. Where are you proving this way? Oh, okay. I'm actually. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking where the sparing option is going, you suck! Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spare. Fight me or leave. Well, I tried to leave before, and you weren't having it, and then my safety corner wasn't safe. Stop it. Yeah, how do you feel? How do you feel that you are attacking a small child? Whose gender I'm still not certain of. Stop looking at me that way. Oh, I'm making her feel bad. No, no, ow. 
How do I cope with this? Alright. I'm gonna go one more time without doing any eating sort of stuff. Go away. And then it's easy to get away from that. Not that. Okay. Spare. Feel bad. Safety corner. Safety corner. Safety corner. Aha. Spare you again. I'm making her feel bad. It's working. It's taking time, but it's working. Huh? Um, I wonder. No, no, that was doing anything to me. Let's just spare again. I know you want to go home, but... I don't know, Han. Do I talk to her? Ironically, okay, talking doesn't seem to be a solution. Okay, let's just keep sparing. But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? I'm not- I don't want to. Please, go upstairs. I would if I could. Oh, I'm making her sad! Haha. <laughs> ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins... I don't! I want to stay! I will not stop you. However... When you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Goodbye, my child. Oh, oh. But, me wanna, me gonna go back. We'll go back. I wanna see if that's an option, if I can just choose to go back and, and that is the game and I stay with her forever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that ending. Toriel. Toriel. Come back. Toriel? Where are you? Are you in your room? Toriel, please. It's so sad! I don't want to go! Like, it could just be a short game, just that little bit. Um, what's my health at, by the way? My health's at 6. I'm going to see about taking a nap and see if that restores my health. Alex, please, wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. What? My HP is up. What? In the world? I'm so confuzzled. Room's still under renovations. And Toriel's just gone. I kinda want- I'm gonna sleep again. Just cause I am- Do I get the same message? Do I get a different message? Alex, please. Wake up. 
You are the future of... Of... What even is this game with tearing my heart out? Toriel? Toriel? I still have the cell. Dialing. Nobody picked up. Makes me sad now. I don't know why it said 105, by the way. Maybe it's just because I had the game sitting for a bit. That's probably why. Ah, uh, that's. Of course, you have to go and make me feel bad. You're getting all sad about it. Alright. Here I go, I guess. Things could potentially get really bad from here. 50 Shades of Purple. Seriously, 50 Shades of Purple. Uh, more like four. You. You. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. I don't care for you, sir. Undertale. And I think that's a good place to end today. So, thank you for watching. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to become a VIP today. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.